Okay guys, so recently I obtained the FR202 Thunder Family Comness Family Com Pocket. I have no idea what to call this thing. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, we are going to take a close look at something really strange. This kind of a weird beefy family FR202 Thunder device. High technology home entertainment. But is it any good? Let's find out. Okay, so a time ago I picked up a lot of these, let's say, different weird systems. And when it comes to weird systems, I'm always like intrigued and just wanted to show you here on the channel. But there were some interesting aspects to it. I don't know if it's going to be working. Uh, yeah, that is the thing. Like, I power it on, the LED goes on and that's it. I just wanted to check it out with you guys. Okay, the way how it covers up is kind of interesting. Don't you think so? But overall, like this called like the high technology home entertainment, it's like a Famicom clone. I would not be surprised. We're going to get reset power. We can launch the game from here. So let's try that one out. Let's see if you can fit in any Famicom game card. And let's launch it. Whoo! Absolutely. But then overall, like at the front, we're going to get two very strange ports over there. Like they're not the Famicom ports I've seen before. The bottom part is nothing else. And at the back, we're going to get also like some strange thing going on. Here with the input for the power supply, output for AV out and audio. We're going to get a 50 and 60 hertz switch. I've never seen this on a Famicom clone or don't see that very often. But then overall, like here we're going to get a very big black hole. And it's kind of weird, I have no idea where it's for. So we're also going to do an opening up because I want to see what can we play with this flicking thing. And what are we actually going to get with this? It didn't came with a power supply, but I did got a pile of these controllers. So let's search which one we're going to need. Okay, so let's see. This weird thing is from the Fun Zone. So this one, I think this is what it's PlayStation clone. But I want to check out here on the channel. Oh boy, it's like a freaking cable nightmare. Then we're going to get the Fun Zone PlayStation controllers. I want to say these things look not bad at all. <laughs> they look, when I say authentic, like the original one, but they're not bad at all. Uh, I think these were for the N64 clone I had laying around. Got two controllers. This for an almost Super NES version. Oh boy, yeah, this guy just gave me like a pile of controllers. More like, here you have controllers, don't know which one it is. Ah, so this is going to be in Captain Obvious moment. Here we're going to get the Family FR202 Thunder controller. This thing looks pretty cool. It's a little bit of a bummer. We're going to get this weird connection. So let me know, do you know which connection it is? Or is it a common one from something else? We're going to test it out just to see what happens. It look kind of clunky, but I can say like they're quite comfortable. Okay, so we're already getting some sticky keys. Or sticky buttons. Uh, do we have a second one? Ah, here we have like the second one. Is this one better? Slightly, but it's not bad at all. So, oh, a lot of shitty controllers. Let's take a closer look at it. Okay, so the only thing I got were the controllers and the system itself. This, by the way, not the original cartridge. I think the original cartridge was something like this. No, I think not. Like, I have a lot of these bloody things laying around. It is a Famicom play, so basically we can play Famicom games. And we have a lot of them. Like, just to see how will this thing work. Will this work with every single game? Yeah, curious about it. So that's also we're going to try out. We're going to do a quick turbo. And we're going to have a lot of fun. Oh boy, the controller. They're like looking really best up. And let's open it up. Even like the screws in the controller are completely with some rust on it. It's quite interesting. If I need a big screwdriver, I need to get myself a bigger screwdriver. Uh, let's see, do we have this bloody thing? I think we have one. I hope this is the right size. I got this thing, by the way, from AliExpress. I really like those toolkits. They're super convenient. Yep, that's the right one. Super convenient, yeah. Like, look at this. Like, <laughs> I don't know what happened with those things, but... Oh man, they look really bad. All right, so let's do a quick look in the inside and well, it says family over here. Can we just lift it out? It needs to be like, because there are no screws whatsoever. Oh boy, this is just a really filthy controller. Oh boy, look how filthy this bloody thing is. It's like ridiculous how filthy. Ugh, these things were like sticky on here. Ugh. Like the controllers are like back to the basics. Like here's where it all started. Tiny piece to be inside, like some basic buttons layout, that's it. <laughs> yeah, they look like the same like a Super NES and a Mega Drive. But let's clean it up a little bit and uh, let's see uh, if they're freaking even going to work. All right, so let's connect this bad boy. Oh, boy, that is really tight. And 
Well, let's plug in again. Alrighty. Connect the controllers and the cables, of course, that we're going to need. And I'm going to get myself a power supply. I got a cheap one over there, but it seems to be working. I got it from another system, but we can just actually play some family ever to under two thunder. All right, so there was one thing strange going on with this system. So I've tried it a couple of times with different cartridges. And sometimes you're going to get like actually good signal output. And sometimes it's completely messed up or it doesn't do anything at all. So such a weird thing. So let's plug in this 84 and one. I'm curious if this thing is even going to work on this. Oh, it seems to be working. All right, let's boot it up. What the hell is going on? That looks kind of weird. Okay, that sounds slow. Let's see if the... Oh, I have it set to 60 hertz. Let's boot it up again with 60. Okay, so it's even more messed up now. It all seems to be working now. And it sounds indeed way faster. Oh, that sounds, that sounds good, but it looks really messed up. Oh man, I love this controller. The D-pad is kind of clunky. I love Arkanoid, man. Ooh, got the big pedal. And I got the small one, the multiball. It's such a bummer that everything looks messed up, simply because this thing plays actually pretty good. All right, so let's try some different games. I tested out the 84 and one multi-game card. Now the ones that came from the weird, let's say NES, and the other ones like the N64 editions. It comes full with crappy games. It's the same collection like this. But all the games have the same issue. The games just boot up, but... Okay, this game looks really messed up over here. So let's boot up baseball. I think baseball was broken. I think baseball game is completely messed up. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. Maybe I need to clean this one up, but it doesn't do anything. This Super 66, the weird gun cartridge, is now giving me just white screens. So yeah, conclusion is, let's try the last game. See, and this is what I mean, like, it looks absolutely great. And I just say that when it comes to these devices, like the Famicom clones, I have seen myself some shitty devices, but this thing, and some pretty really good audio and signal output. So far so good. But I think this is more like an issue of the connector, I wanted to say. Like, what the hell? Whoa, 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 whoa. And by the way, it doesn't even matter if you have like 50 or 6 years mode. Oh, okay. I'm going to do stop doing it because I'm going to all crazy here. Ooh. Okay, so let's open up just to see what are we going to get in the inside. And this is a weird situation that we're actually going to get like a boot up, but when we're playing a game, it looks completely messed up. And yeah, it doesn't even matter if you're going to get a brand new game, a new, an old game, whatever. It, like it has so much issues. And in my opinion, some of these systems are not having the same quality like the original NES. I know the original NES will get broken sometimes, but the quality mm -hmm, is in my opinion way better than the cheap stuff. Let's see how it's built in. It's going to be a slightly hot glue madness over there when the LED. Such a weird construction. But the way how it looks over here looks way better than the other device I've seen. So first of all we're going to get two nice switches over there. Like most of them are using these micro switches nowadays. But they're like a really decent one. It's still a lot of plastic for testing with nothing inside. Over here we're going to get a special dust cover that goes around the connector itself. And here we're going to get the final and third PCB. And this is basically for the signal output and the region switch. And here we're going to get the input for the power supply. Of course we're going to do a quick teardown with this one because I want to see if there's any information on this when this thing has been made. But also are they using a black blob this time again like they're doing many times before. Or can we finally see what kind of chip they are using? And of course, I cannot do a full teardown because everything is connected with these shitty, horrible pieces of ribbon cables. 
let's do it upside down over here and let's see what are we going to get so it is quite a big capacitor over here oh boy look at this cooling element i've never seen it on a device like this before ah here we can see the date when it was made okay let's be very gentle with the freaking cables oh family elect something like that technology ltd serial number this freaking thing has it has been made in 2002 so boy so this thing is quite old already so quite interesting concept but there is nothing over here when it comes to a black blob and i'm guessing the reason why normally what you're going to get with some of these like built-in games and we don't have those so we don't have black blob hmm a little bit of a bummer if these devices never work yeah i must say like the fr200 200 family i must say this device indeed looks slightly better when it comes to the quality and i wanted to play this game just to see how it works how it looks and how it feels and smell but sadly it didn't work at all but yeah it didn't work at all like it did work like it booted up but you can see like everything is messed up doesn't even matter what game i tried it on a different power supply and some other things but it's just internally in the system itself a little bit of bummer is more like a collectible item now it's still very good condition everything seems to be working just fine when it comes to the buttons and so but uh, let me know what you would think of a device like this i want to thank you for watching consider subscribing hit that little bell become the wicked family and we'll see you in